Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about Alpha Investments, Rudy versus Reddit. Uh, Rudy recently had a video where he seemed pretty upset, but in a joking way, about Reddit. Reddit has said many negative things about his channel, and it's quite fascinating that they will support the Mana Source and Tolarian Community College. Whenever Tolarian posts anything on Reddit, it will be rank one, it will be on the first page. Same thing with the Mana Source's donation, charity, health insurance benefit. Now, why does Reddit dislike Rudy so much? And this dislike and disdain has been since the very beginning. Let's dissect. Um, so Rudy responded in his video that he doesn't really care, but let's kind of dissect uh, the argument Reddit has against Rudy and see if they are valid. Now, the first argument is, I have been watching plenty of MTG content producers on YouTube. I just started, decided to start looking at how videos are titled. Rudy currently has over 50 videos that state Wizard of Coast will collapse within a year, clickbait WOTC titles. During every single box opening video, there is some sor sort of conspiracy scheme that Wizard of the Coast is taking part of. Also, there are hundreds of people commenting about Rudy participating activities that would be illegal in a regulated market. We're not in a regulated market. You would be an absolute idiot to behave like you're in a regulated market when you're not. You would be slaughtered. We have to behave like we're not in a regulated market. The argument that if we were in a regulated market, this would be illegal is false because we're not in a regulated market. Therefore, it is not illegal. Here we have, Reddit has taught me not to buy booster boxes, so I watch Rudy open. Saves me money and gives me something to do while I poop. So this is the people that Wizard of the Coast is catering to. They don't buy product. They don't spend any money in this game. Like this is what they admit to and this is what they're upvoting as the number one upvoted post. Yet Wizard of Coast will listen to them and they'll ban someone like Unsleeved Media, Jeremy, who spends tens of thousands of dollars on this game a year. Instead, they'll listen to this guy who's pooping. Good, good marketing. Good demographic targeting, Wizard of Coast. Now they, they do a slight on Open Boosters. Open Boosters, to my knowledge, is probably one of the nicest guys in the community. I have never taken a shot at him, so that should tell you how highly I think about him. So if you want to watch box openings, check out Open Boosters. Except he's boring. Is that the guy who makes a swoosh sound? Yeah, that effing noise. Yeah, F that dude. So let me get this straight. No one on Reddit is going to buy a booster box. They're either too poor or they're too smart. One of the two, right? And they're complaining about open boosters who's spending his own money to bring entertainment to these people. And they're complaining about a swoosh sound. These guys are idiots. <laughs> There's no other way for me to put it. It's idiots upvoting other idiots. And it is so embarrassing. Like... I, and the problem is Wizard of the Coast is listening to them. So whenever they get really loud and noisy, these people do not buy your product, Wizard of the Coast. They don't spend a dime on your product. They're just leeches. Like they leech off people. And you know who buys your product? Open Boosters. Do you know who buys your product? Rudy. Do you know who buys your product? Unsleeve Media previously. He bought... What did he do? Spend ten thousand dollars in Magic Online and another, at least ten thousand on product. Yet instead of catering towards the customers, which would be me, you, the people at the local game store, the game store owner maybe, the people that you play EDH with that need to buy cards, they're... I learned something very valuable on 4chan when 4chan was trolling the blank out of me. And that was the majority of 4chan, when they go on this um, destructive tirade, they know nothing about magic. They don't care anything about magic. They just want to see it burn. That is Reddit. These people do not play magic. These people do not uh, spend money on magic. And they're proud of this fact. 
They're proud that they never buy Booster Box. They're proud they don't support their local game stores. They're proud, and yet they have this, um, how should I say it? They have this feeling where, oh, well, open boosters, I hate that dude. Why? He's giving something to you, and you're complaining and whining. It's the same thing about my foil Liliana contest. I'm giving you a once-in-a-lifetime card. Most casual players will never have a foil Liliana from regular Innistrad. They might not never even see one of these. These are not, even for me, they're hard to come by. I see one, maybe one every year. Yet, it's all just yapping and complaining and yapping and complaining until the point is like, do I even want to have a contest anymore? That's what I'm thinking right now. Do I even want to have a contest anymore if all the people are going to do is yap and complain, yap and complain? It's terrible, right? It's a terrible system. I want to do contests and I my channel historically has done a lot of contests before. But do I want to deal with all these people who, who just complain all the time? And it's like, where's the contest hitting? The contest says 30,000. We didn't hit 30,000. I'm trying to hit 30,000. Maybe you should help me hit 30,000. Nope, I'm going to yap and complain, yap and complain. So they're calling Rudy, you know, a scam artist. And so, this is how business operates. It is how business operates. I was watching another channel. It's like MTG unpacking or something like that, unsealed MTG. And he was opening the uh, buy box promo packs, which you should, you know, stores should keep them for the customers. And he was opening the uh, game day packs or the championship packs. And people were complaining. People were complaining about that. Oh, you know, you're doing a disservice to your store. And he's trying to explain how business works. There's not many stores in Houston that won't sell me anything early. So if you go to the very beginning of the channel, I used to be able to open stuff way before it came out. How did that happen? I would get a text message as soon as all these stores would get it and say, hey, this is a price. Pick it up today if you want. It's business. Like you cannot. Okay. Now, comparing Rudy to Alex Jones, like all of this stuff is just so, so strange. Um, and I do agree. The more I research about the fake signature, it's a guy who was given a good price. Even if you view that signature as fake, a heavy played Black Lotus at the time is slightly, slightly l more expensive than that one. So that one's in good condition. It just has a signature. Even if you do not believe the signature is real, it's still a good price. It was a fair price. How do I know it's a fair price? Well, because the other dude paid twice as much for it a few months later. That should tell you all you need to know about the first dude. He was not legitimate. He was not real. He was not really showing an interest to it. And he probably didn't, couldn't afford it. Let's be honest here. A lot of people talk big and they don't have anything to back it up with. Rudy, I've always appreciated this about him. I have a collection. I show off my collection to you. Rudy does the same. A lot of people do not do that in MTG Finance. Now, supposedly they have uh, truckloads of Black Lotuses and uh, truckloads of moats, but that's not, it doesn't make sense to me because if you have that money to invest in magic, like we're talking about six-figure income, we're talking about you probably live in a nice home, you live in a nice area, or maybe you live in Los Angeles, New York City, maybe you used to be a stockbroker in a past life. It's not these randos on Reddit. It's not these randos on Reddit. And this is the beauty. I see all those reserve list cards and I say to myself, all right, this guy is the real deal. Do I always agree with what you say? No, conspiracy take the crown. I know we buy from the same places because when he was buying the Concha Tarkir binders, the Dragon Ball Z, the Nightmare Before Christmas, all this stuff, like I, I was like, wait a second, this is the same vendor that's selling me this stuff too, huh? I wonder, oh, it is the same, same guy. Um, so I get it. 
And people at the end of the day, they're jealous, but there's no reason to be jealous. Like the majority of people, they get, I, I, again, I listen to this guy. He's called Dave Ramsey. He's on YouTube. He's pretty uh, famous. And I do, li I listen to him while I'm doing work. He says that you should never, be, if you want to be a rich person, you never want to be, you do not want to be jealous of other rich people. This was a recent uh, YouTube video he made. And it makes sense. If you want to be a Rudy, why hate on him? Why hate? Like, we all want to be open boosters. So we can all want to have these random, unlimited, like, it, I don't know, like, does this guy ever run out of this stuff? Like, I don't think so. Who wouldn't want to have all the uh, booster packs and boxes that, and be able to open them and not really care about the financial repercussions of opening that box as open boosters? And yet... They're making fun of his swoosh. Like, come, come on, guys. Like, and this is the main problem with Magic the Gathering is that the Wizard of the Coast is tailing to people who are very loud on Reddit who never spent, spend a cent. All they do is criticize. That is your perfect demographic, Wizard of the Coast. I know, f me personally, I would love to have a bazillion of these customers who don't buy anything and just wreck stuff. <laughs> Bye.